recording. See, this is good. So, let's make a crate. Not a complicated crate, just a, a simple one. Let me just get rid of this. So, select the square, which is right here, and hold down shift, and make a box. We need to move this box if you want, move it wherever you want. I'm going to make mine twist and turn before it gets set properly, but it's pretty much good for me. Alright, so let's go to our multi-cut tool, as I showed you in the last video, and what we need to do is we need to add, this thing is kind of erratic, but we need to add slots like this. That one on the top is a bit too big. There, that's better. We need to add slots like this all around the box. So as you can see, when you create on one side, you know, you're good to go. And there you go. So that seems to be it. They're all made. Uh, next thing we need to do is we're going to use the multi-tool cut in a, in a different way. So we're going to click on this line and we're going to click up here we're going to hit enter because we're going to need to make the exact same cut right here now this if you mess up can be moved and adjusted so there you go you got to repeat this entire process once again throughout the entire thing hit enter And right about there. Let's move it up. Hit enter. Now you can make these spaces as big as you want. Get this as close to a crate as you want it to be. But this is just a short, fast example on how to do it. And of course, once you get going, you'll actually be able to do this a whole lot easier. There we go. You also have to do the ones in the top and on the bottom. That one needs to be moved up just a bit. Mm, I messed up on this one right here. Let's go back. Exit this. And go back on that one. There we go. And we're going to click right here. And right about there. Sometimes it's a bit hit or miss mostly miss and there you go I also do one on the bottom but right now we're gonna skip the bottom because we need to get to the rest of this so we're gonna go with this side first off and we're gonna click here alright and we extrude well, just a bit and we go back here we on select this one so we click here 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 and so on. And then all we have to do is also extrude it. And there you go. And that is all you have to do throughout the rest of the box. And you'll end up getting that same result all over. Or, if you want, we could technically do this the easy way. Think. Oh, yeah, it's extruding now. Come on. There we go. So, instead of selecting all of these, it'd be a whole lot easier if instead we just did these. Right? Extrude, but pull it 
in. That's it. And just do it again. And it will remember your selection. Now, the extruding kind of went in just a little too far, but nonetheless, it uh, we managed to make a crate, and that is actually pretty good, because technically it should have been just about that much, but hey, doesn't really matter, does it? So there you have it. A simple simplistic crate. It doesn't need any smoothing. You drop on a texture and you're good to go and since nobody's gonna see the bottom, there's no point in even doing it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to have a good day.